What is up you guys? It's your girl and I am back with yet another video. And I can't guys it's your girl and i am back with yet another video and in today's video i'm about to show you how i got my hair looking like this now no the split ender pro did not change my hair color i did um it did not straighten my hair i did am i loving it i'm loving the the length ish um but not loving the straight hair. I want to go back to curls. For those of you who don't know, I'm Rivka and I have curly hair. I'm a curly hair to queen. And yeah, I decided to try the Split Ender Pro. So if you want to keep on watching and see exactly what my review is on it and how I look when my hair is not looking this nice, then keep on watching because I clearly look crazy in the next part of this video. Okay, I know that I look crazy. It is like baby hairs are standing i apologize but we are getting right into this video i'm exhausted if i sound tired and sleepy it's because i just woke up about 10 20 minutes ago i literally just got up washed my face did some of my skincare i haven't finished it yet i still have to do quite a bit of my skincare like i put the serums on that's as far as i got with my skincare sunblock face cream all the other things need to still come but we keep moving and so we are going to be reviewing this bad boy i just took it out of the box now this is the bad boy we are reviewing what i've seen online is that a lot of people that are curly girls i might not look like i'm a curly girl right now but i'm a curly girl i promise i swear 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 on my mother um and yeah so basically last night we the girls the girls and i we had a girls night we did hair we dyed our hair all of us we blow dried our hair all of us myself and elsa we did nails got the way that he completely straight the nails made her he completely straight i probably will do that i don't know a part of me wants to go just i just want to do the only reason i made my hair straight is for this bad boy but a part of me is like just completely go straight and see how long your hair is but then i'm gonna get annoyed and cut it so i don't know um so yeah i've done a lot of research i've seen a lot of these videos over the years on youtube but i haven't seen much on curly hair and recently i've been seeing some on curly hair well oh, so one video one video not recently one video sorry my acorns on but it's hot and i'm not putting it off maybe i should but no it's hot you guys understand like the sun is here like this is the sun you understand so i thought you know what look to this and then amazon just had this i don't know not a sale or special it was just way way cheaper than it usually is and i was like if ever i wanted to try this thing now's the time because if it doesn't work it's not that expensive it's still money but it's not that expensive so i got the red one because i love red i'm so happy that it came as red because these let me just check these silver these red this black and blue so that's the color options that you have I wanted the red one is my favorite color was not I've only ever taken this out of the package this is like the second or third time the first time obviously to look at it and then I was like oh that looks scary and uh, I think the second time I showed it to them um, and then I actually had to take it out of the package so it's a little scary I think that's where you charge it I don't know I don't even know if this thing must be charged I haven't tried it yet I should try it on like this little sunflower but I'm scared because it's right in front of my hairline. So the box is really cool. I'm actually going to repurpose this box because it has like this little magnet vibe. It's quite big, but I feel like I can put stuff in. So let me just show you how this box looks. So this is the inside. It's still pretty much sealed. Okay, so this is the charging thingy. Oh, yeah. It's definitely this because this is round and that is round. So, doom. Boom, boom. Instructions manual. I see a cute little leather pleather looking bag i think it's cute okay so this is like the silver one instructions manual so these blades oh my lord dang because i need to know how to use this thing i'm so scared because i go to this thing like takes a big chunk of my hair wait before we before we go over the rules let's check what's in the bag so this is how the bag looks 
It's a cute little bag. It's almost like one of those little flat iron bags. You know, where you put your little flat iron for traveling purposes. It's just cute. It has like two little clips on the side. <gasps> Look at that. It has all the little combs, clips. What is this? What is that? There's nothing about that in there. Oh, and then I think you probably put it in here because it's a little pouch. Oh, the actual machine. The machine looks big. This doesn't look very big, but we will we will make it work. Okay. I'm going to put all this nonsense on the floor. I have morning coffee still because it's morning and I haven't eaten yet. And yeah, I thought why not trim and get out, get out of the way so that you can start your day. Because I have a lot of work to do. Okay. We started. Now things are getting real exciting and getting scared. So, my hair is all the same color. I don't know if you can see it going all the way down, but it's all the same color, and I'm so happy about it. Hopefully, when my natural brown comes out, it's something similar to this, and so that it just looks like one color as well. Anyway, we are just going through our hair. They gave us a nice little white tooth comb, and for curly hair, I like that. So, the rules say to a preparation of hair needs to be clean, no natural oils in it, etc. etc. You know, no products, no gels, none of that. My hair is clean, it's just um, air dried and they're not stretched, but like blow dried to the point where it's not damaging my curls. And again, I am a curly girl, so that's what my hair looks like this. So yeah, they say take small sections, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, trying to take an even amount. And we are just gonna get clippity clappity. The first part I'm going to probably, you know, obviously show it to you guys because you guys need to see what's going on. And then from there on, I'm just going to time lapse this whole thing and then maybe record the front part again and then give my little reviews on it. But here we go. Okay, so we have the quarter inch because, oh, can you see that? Can you all see that? Probably not. But this is the biggest piece of trimmer or piece. They don't have like a half, a half inch. They have, this is the biggest piece that trims off. So we're going to use it. Um, I don't know how this works. I know if the arrows need to go in the direction that you are pulling it down. So if you're pulling it down this way, you click this arrow. And if you're going down this way, you click the other arrow. So just in case you ever do try this, you need to know that. Um, I only know that because I watched a video. The instructions didn't tell me that much. There's a brush on the inside of this thing. So I'm trying to make sure that there's no knots in my hair. Keep it close. So loud. I don't see any ears. We do it again. It's very loud and very like brrr in your ear, but okay. Apparently you can go over your, each section three times, which I'm gonna do. My hair doesn't feel that much different. It feels, I think, maybe it's all in the mind, I don't know. We're gonna keep going and keep seeing. I have a lot more split ends to the front of my hair. Alright. I don't mind if it takes off length. Because I just want it to be healthy, you know. We're going to do another piece. It's not as scary. The sound, I think, is the scariest part of it. It's like, brrr, up in your, you know, all up in yours. But, like, it's not that bad. Done, you just feel like a whole different kind of girl. That's how I feel right now. I feel like a whole different kind of goddess. <clears throat> just flipping my hair back and forth, guys. My hair's like it's long, okay? I usually never grow this long, so 
it's much for me so we split we trim the hair this is how my hair looks now after i trimmed it i use the split ender pro which is right here in its little travel bag i also went in with the scissors and just cut it again um let's get into it i think for me personally i don't think that this is a purchase that i would make again if this thing broke tomorrow i don't think i'd buy this again um am i gonna use it yeah because i spent the money already i might as well my baby hair's all laid that's why it looks a little weird i apologize but yeah so if this broke three four years down the line i wouldn't repurchase this i feel like i can cut my hair in its curly state and not have to go straight and not have to go through all this <sighs> this is minimal heat damage i didn't straighten my hair so it's bone straight it was just straight enough so that i could you know do what i needed to do with this bad boy in the clip you actually saw me do it on like just dry hair like i literally just took the little blow brush of gala and just kind of went through it to dry my hair and my hair was still in parts wet when i finished drying my hair overnight hair you know slept with that hair and then obviously the morning when i woke up it was dry but i felt like the split ender pro wasn't doing the things with my blow dried hair or my dried hair so i actually went over to her and then got it straightened um not straightened to the point where it's bone straight because i really don't like that i if i do get my hair straight i usually put a curl into it or wave into it because i personally am not i'm past that stage where i want to have pin straight hair guys i've grown out of the idea that straight hair is beautiful hair hair is hair and whatever you have love it live it and just enjoy it like we are blessed with what we have and if you don't have a certain type of hair love what you have because so many times we want something different maybe your body ain't looking the way that you want because you want that one's body but that one that you want she wants yours so like calm down it's okay i think everyone which is hard we are hard on ourselves we don't have to be hard so for me again I personally wouldn't do this but that's because I'm a curly girl and I have to make my hair straight and I don't like my hair straight like if I was one of those curly girls that like once in a blue moon made my hair straight because oh my god I like miss my straight hair fine but I'm not one of those girls I literally only make my hair straight when I wanna like check length and then cut it but I feel like with that I don't have to go into depth with like a straightener but this this is a bit much would I do this every three to four months probably not I'll probably do this like twice a year every six months that's perfectly fine but I just feel like it's not a purchase that I would repurchase if you have straight hair like Caucasian hair like beautiful straight pin hair that doesn't need all that extra work or you just wear your hair naturally straight um, and this purchase wouldn't be too much I think it was too much for me because I had to straighten the hair and then I had to go in with this. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Ah, look at this hair. It's not the split into pro though, it's just me.